so this is the immunization week. Uh, it is celebrating the importance of immunization, especially in children. It is very important in children and uh, immunization saves lives. When a child is born, the child gets uh, the BCG that which prevents uh, TB and uh, polio. Polio are given in several doses which are divided over four different timings and uh, the other one which is usually given is hepatitis B. Uh, when the child is at six weeks, six weeks of age, 10 weeks of age and 14 weeks of age, there are several other vaccines which are given like hepatitis B, polio, rotavirus, pneumococcal. This saves lives, it, it immunizes against severe life-threatening diseases. Uh, when you come at 9 months and 18 months, there's the measles, mumps and rubella. And the other vaccines like meningococcal, hepatitis A, cholera, uh, chickenpox, which are good to give, but currently not in the uh, government uh, mandatory vaccines. Uh, so when you give a child vaccines, it develops immunity. And what it does is prevents you from getting the severe disease. For example, let me take an example of rotavirus uh, vaccine. When, when a child is given the correct number of doses of uh, rotavirus, currently, as we speak, is at three doses, six weeks, 10 weeks, and uh, 14 weeks, it is given orally. The chance of, of that particular child getting severe disease is at five to 10%. That means, yes, the child will get rotavirus-related diarrhea but the chance of getting severe rotavirus diarrhea and dehydration is at 5%. So you see, you are 90%, the chance of getting goes very low. Same goes with other vaccines. For example, the pneumococcal vaccine, which was introduced uh, approximately around 13 years ago, studies done after that vaccine showed dr drastic uh, reduction in admission due to pneumococcal, uh, pneumonia related to the pneumococcal bacteria. Uh, so yes, uh, as we speak, even the measles vaccine, uh, you see several times we have the uh, measles outbreak, we give a booster shot of measles vaccine. Recently there was a cholera outbreak and the government took an initiative to vaccinate all children uh, less than five years to get the cholera vaccine. In fact, they were even go going to estates and household to provide that oral cholera vaccine and I commend the government in doing so. Uh, so, and I'll also take this opportunity to make sure that vaccines are almost always available. There was recently of sh a shortage of the rotavirus vaccine and the uptake of vaccine really went down. Uh, so I'll also ask the government to make sure that the supply of these vaccines are, are always there. Uh, let me also take this opportunity of also talking about COVID vaccine. Uh, it's controversial, but children more than currently with the Kenyan guidelines, children more than 12 years uh, are eligible to get the COVID vaccine. The other vaccine, which is usually also forgotten, is the HPV, human papilloma virus vaccine, uh, of which uh, girls of uh, 9 to 10 years old uh, get it uh, at the age of 9 to 10 years and usually is repeated after six months. This is a very important vaccine and it prevents cervical cancer in future. So usually after the first 18 months, of which most vaccines are up to there, or two years if you take the other vaccines, this vaccine is kind of forgotten. But I urge parents, both mothers and fathers, to take their girls who are 9 to 10 years old <coughs> for this vaccine. And this vaccine is free. So there is no cost uh, attributed to it. There is a myth there's some diseases are, are, are attributed or associated with this vaccine. I'll say it's not a fact, it's a myth. Uh, just last year, okay, COVID brought our vaccine, uh, vaccination uptake to a low level. As uh, you know, COVID slowed down everything. The COVID, I mean, the vaccination uptake went as low as up to around 70%. Initially, we were really doing well. Uh, the 6, 10 and 14 week vaccine, uh, the ones I said, which there are many vaccines, they were up to 90, the uptake was up to 85 to 90%. So the uptake was in most parts. There were other parts which was as low as 60%, but majority were 80, almost 90% uptake. Uptake means 
uh, the number of children getting the vaccines. COVID slowed down things, but uh, with, uh, with, imp with after the COVID lockdown and COVID has kind of eased, mothers now are taking their children again for, for vaccination. And I think uh, we'll wait for more data to see how things have improved after COVID. But generally, it has COVID brought down figures, but things are improving right now.